and welcome back to Blood Bowl. Right, so we have a win because one of my opponents is a child and can't, you know, can't even go for a game where he's obviously got a chance of winning. So this means I've now played about one, two, three, four games of Blood Bowl and I've won every one of them. This, this isn't right. He's probably off scrapping that team. So, looking for an opponent, looking for an opponent. No, nope, everyone's heard about the Knights of Pendragon and they've run. 20,000 people. Come on. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, okay. I have quite a few inducements. I can get myself an extra reroll. I can't really get myself. Oh, I can. I can buy a wizard. I can buy an extra reroll. I've got 90k left. I can't afford a. Uh, I could afford another apocryphy, but. Slime Mercenary. Blood buys a babe. She gives me getting that and to be honest I'm not going to spend any of my petal cash so I'll just do that. The wizard should be interesting, I've not tried the wizard yet. So I'll be saving that for when he's um, really close to the end zone. 1300 is quite a big difference. But you know, I'm confident. The high elves, so they'll have plenty of block and stuff like that. Oh, we're in Decalion. The Hull and Crusaders. This is one of those games where you know you're going to lose. But, you know, it could be worse. It could be 1300 Orcs or Chaos or something like that. Or, dwar or Dwarves. Alright. Ponzi, 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 Ponzi. No idea what that guy's problem. His head's tiny. Um, okay, that that's that one guy here with this, the um, that that's the one that looks like he's trouble. How many that? He's only got one blitzer. Right. Probably be defending. This is where wrestle's actually quite useful. Yep. Right. So I want to replace that guy with a blitz. Uh, I do not want all these guys on the um, sidelines. That'd be silly. Let's move Daster back. Um, the one major problem with this version of Blood Bowl is there's no way to um, show the player names, which is a fantastic thing from uh, Cyanide. Still learning the UI. I'm actually going to go for the um, the very famous line of bots. You can't dodge past. You will be able to double up on me in places, but only for a turn because you only got one blitz. So who's he got? Catcher, catcher, thrower, lineman, light blitzer, lineman, lineman, blitzer, catcher. So we've got three catchers, two blitzers, a thrower. And the rest of all linemen. His throw has got accurate, safe throw, and pass. And he's actually just going to go and try and punch me. Okay, so if you don't, don't know who high elves are, they are AG4, but unlike most elves, they have an armor of 8. So they're not as amazing at the passing game as. Well, they're still damn good at the passing game. 
but you know they are built to hit a bit more than normal elves. I'm hoping we can pick a few skills up this match. The one problem with the concession, you get the two MVPs, but that doesn't really help you much. Okay. This is where having Fend in the front line will help. Because they can't follow up even when they smack him down. Maybe if we just put a line of bodies in the way, that would cause some problems. Just like that. That oh, does the reroll for the half. Oh, I go faster. No, I'm not wasting my pocket free on oh, no, a yeah, yeah. Master will just have to come back next time. There are so many valuable players on this pitch as well. I go to the mountain again. There's enough personality you can like pick the players out. I gave the mountain that big dumb face. Mart got Mart isn't a skeleton, unfortunately. That's an... yeah, sorry, that's... <laughs> he's run out of stuff to hit, he's not sure what to do. Picking up the ball might be useful. Right, now we'll see, see how they're going to actually play. Yeah, just farm the XP. That's a pretty safe thing to do. Just that once more, he's got a nice extra skill point, and he's. I have no idea why he did that. Is he making like the weird, weirdest cage? He's caging up around the wrong player. There's a big blue line showing where the ball is and he's caging up around the thrower. <laughs> My god. I think he just realised his mistake, but that's not really going to help him much. Oh, getting the ball back to the throw. Okay, maybe that's why. That makes a little more sense, but still. Let's move in and lock some of these guys down. That's a catcher, so he's strength 3, AV 7. I think he'll be my blitz target for today. Oh, are you kidding me? Put him in there to cause some trouble. Arm up on his blitzer. Send you a lineman as support. You can support him. I'm going to put you guys close, but not too close. I'm going to leave him as a backfielder. 
I'm, I'm going to expect to concede a, a touchdown at this point. Okay. Truck box is apparently noisy. Come on, my guy's got block. You know which one you need to pick, yeah. One more step. Now there's a bit of a corridor for his men. These tackle zones aren't going to move mean much to him. He's an elf. I put the mountain in the way of pain. Night night mountain. I think it's all about making him take dice rolls. The more dice rolls he takes, the more he's gonna fail. I've not left him in the I've left him a small corridor, but I can knock this guy down. <laughs> He's going for the least healthy play in the world, isn't he? Put a catcher downfield. Do I sack the ball carrier or do I take out the catch and be safe? Depends what he does with the rest of the field. He's going to run out of time. Okay. Okay. So I ain't gonna be able to sack the ball carrier, so I'm gonna take out the catcher. Nice dodge. But at least I'm on him. Next trick is to get some support in for him. Because he does not want to be there. He can step up to him. He can stand up. I'm actually going to put him here. I'm sorry for that, but... Gonna risk a go for it. But it puts him in the interception place. Ah! Now it puts this catcher. He also has dodge. I'm going to move him back in case I do actually get the ball back. Right. I never know how people can use all their time. 
pretty good start. Your guy's got block. Now you can, if he reverses the flow, go this way. That's going to toss him time. He can try and bath his way through. He does have a numerical superiority. But I have three blitzes, so. And that's not the type of role you want to see. Okay, this is where the game gets interesting. So, first block should be to clear this guy out. Follow, keep the pressure on. Stand him up. Put you there to support him. You there to support him. So... Might be a one die, but I have a reroll. Which I don't need. Stunned. Gets the ball. Makes a break for it. VV roll. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what re rolls are for. Now I'm going to crowd surf this bastard. Follow. No, follow was a bad idea. Only stunned. Put this guy out. That's what I want to do for the other guy. I'm going to stay because he's going to get a tackle zone on that guy. Done. Be a one die on him. But. Use the vessel skill. Takes this down but doesn't cause a turnover. Okay, so this isn't a safe play. But the ball's in my hands, and even though he's gonna have, he's gonna have to move the other direction. And I've got a few players who can help him. He'll be he'll use this guy. I can hope this are the double ones. Come on, Aston, do you? No. Ah, well. Pushing there. Pick the ball up. But he can't throw it. That might actually be a mistake. Because I've now freed the player up, and here he can come and cover this wing.
Do I, even if I don't score, I've kind of um, slowed him down enough that oh, this is my, I'll have to throw the ball next half. Probably could have played that a bit safer. But yeah, there's a big old em empty space. I'm assuming he's not going to leave anyone next to me in, for the next turn. No, no, he's going to go straight for the block. I could have used Wrestle, but at that point there didn't really seem like much point. The only problem here is I don't have anyone good I can get on the ball carrier. So my best option is to risk a go for it. Blitz this guy. Reroll it. That's as far as I'm willing to go with that guy. Time to run some support up. Gridian. Gridian could well score. Right. Now, what horrible things can we do to this capture? That was a nice noise. I like that noise. can't get anywhere to do useful so I'm going to put you here maximize the dodges he's done so I moved him to cover a backfield point I should be looking at the player names and using the player names that's caster okay because he can still get up and block he can still get a two dice block on me with no problem here But the ball is slowly edging towards his end zone. If I can steal that, make me feel a lot better. What I really need is a Kaz, but yeah. Here comes his blitzer. Still got two rerolls left. That's enough to get him down. But again, he won't be able to throw. Gideon's still got armor 8. And I'm getting more players off as the, more, the longer this goes. You could do for a handoff, but it'd be a little bit risky. I know he can't, can he? Yeah, let's go for a handoff. One more handoff. Run down. That's why I moved him to block that field. How about no? Yeah, at this point, having all those rerolls is useful. Good attempt, Buster. Mm. One to the gut there, see now. That's making it harder for me to get to the ball carrier, actually. Also, we have crowd this time, as opposed to just, like, five guys. I'm sure 
That's the team's goal when we get there for stadiums. Which is the thing in this. Go on, go for it. You've already used your revolve. You want to do it. Oh. Elves. Is he going to do something about the fact that I can just start Gideon off and come in and blitz him from there? No, he is not. So. Let's move Tony Stark into support. Who else can we get in? Going for it, I don't really want to be risking and going for it at this point. So I'll go for the secondary safe option there. Gonna lose him there. Let's see if we can get Aster up. I'm going to stay, because I'm not going to follow him for two dice block. He can stay there, he can stay here. Throw over die. Push. This time I will follow. Because Atten gonna prove he's actually useful. You definitely follow. <laughs> right. Much as it pains me. Turn six. Just adjusting stuff so I can see where everything was on the other screen. Hmm. Hard choices here. I'll give him a few options. He's got more players down there. Probably should have followed up. Just put more another tackle zone in. I love it when players that people spend half their term without even moving anyone. I may not be the best player, but I'm not an indecisive player. That is the best move, yes. There we go. So now you can two by block Gideon. Take him out. Then you want to get this. You want to get this lineman in to knock Mount Atten out of the way, and then you can start moving. First, you can dodge, dodge you an elf. Okay, and see where your breakout's going to come from then. Because I can see an easy way to sack that guy. Reroll, come on. Yes! Right, and that changes the fate. Caster. Get me that ball. Turnover, but it's not in a bad place.
Yeah, that's a good idea. You should have done that last turn. Because now you can try and clear me out. I have got a nice little ring of block zones before you can get there though, unless he's going to make a blitz first. He can't get that without dodging. That's an interesting move. Okay, yes, I can see how this is going. But you're out of rerolls. So you're not attempting to pick the ball up this turn, or you are, you're doing it with um, maximum health. Fifty fifty chance. Which in bub bowl turns means you're gonna drop it. That's where it gets interesting because technically that should be a turnover. Okay, so let's move you up. Cause I, I could block with um Atom, but I really would not want to. Do the other safe thing, which is um, marking this player. Let's get Gideon up and into here. I have block. I'll wrestle. And the ball is loose. It's loose, but it's not loose in a place I want it to be loose. Better marking position. All right, I think we're going to get this down to a. Um, he can score. He's an elf, but it's going to be an interesting one. Me scoring is quite low on the um, agenda at this point. He's just he's got a two dice block. Unless it comes up dub scores. No, he's down. On the plus side though, he's gonna find it very hard. He can't pass pass and score. Well he can pass and score I think. If he's done his math right. Or is he just going to mark it down? Yeah, he can score. That's a catcher. He has his thrower there. Just a dodge, a pick up. Come round to that here. Throw to him who's got to catch it. In the tackle zone, but it's doable.
be a long pass, slightly to go wrong. Should have picked these guys up just because he's given me too many options if this patch goes wrong. That doesn't actually decrease the range at all. You will need to go to go for it to do that. Elves. All right, now it's just got to dodge out. My character dodge. Going to do it at the end. Yeah. One nil, but that was a hard fought half. Ah, cheerleaders. Yes. I no comment. Let me get up. No injuries, so we're both back. So this is just a um, turn of smashing with the attempted pass as well. Oh, he's facing his defence. What he should be doing is pulling everyone back. Right. So I'm going to want to put my blitzers on the front line here. Then has he put anyone juicy alone? No, he's just put a couple of linemen. Probably get to his blitzer. So I'll keep Tony Stark back, try and get a pass out of him. just in case there's a blitz. Hmm. A little annoying. There you go. Makes that pass a bit more likely. So. Casual here would be very useful. KO, KO might work. Oh, now I can block. So now I can move someone up. Not going to get the two by dice. Unless I block him off as well. as a blocker. I thought he was a blitzer. Oh well. Two dice. Nope, the armor refuses to break. Gonna pass is this long pass? He makes the pass. He makes the catch. That's impressive. Too good a chance not to. Come on, don't get the rest caught. 
Right, Mott's sent off. But I have a spare lineman, so that's not a big deal for me. Right, so that's the end of the half.